Hello, uh, welcome back. We're going to be talking about the Antoine equation. And I know this problem looks quite long, but we'll get through it. And your brain will thank you for the knowledge we gain. Okay, so what does this problem say? We are given the Antoine equation, and we're also given some constants um, for ethanol. The Antoine constants A, B, and C. And we have three parts here. Part A says to write an equation for the vapor pressure of ethanol in terms of temperature. And part B, we want to then uh, calculate the vapor pressure at a given temperature for ethanol. And part C says at what temperature does ethanol have a vapor pressure of 66 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so for part A, we're going to start um, and we want to isolate the vapor pressure here. So from log rules we know that if we take 10 raised to the log base 10 of something we'll be just left with that something, in this case vapor pressure. But we have to do this to both sides. So we're going to take 10 and raise it to both the left hand side of the equation and the right hand side of the equation. And all of these values will be plugged in, the constants for A B and C, and we'll just leave the temperature there. Okay, so let's do that on a separate sheet of paper. We get for part A that uh, vapor pressure is equal to 10 raised to 8.11220 minus 1592.8. Six four over the temperature plus two twenty six point one eight four. Okay, and there we have it. Part A is complete. And one important note is to uh, record the unit. So for vapor pressure, that's going to be and millimeters of mercury, mercury and temperature is going to be in degrees Celsius. So all we're doing for part B is using this equation we just um, solved for and we're going to be plugging in uh, the given temperature value of 45 degrees Celsius. Okay that's just going to be going into here and Doing that, we get 173.1654, and this is just a notation thing right here. You can write the vapor pressure and then you put in parentheses T, because that's the temperature we're looking at, and this is the vapor pressure you get. So for a final answer, let's write the temperature we're looking at. 45 degrees Celsius, that's 173 millimeters of mercury. Okay, and for our final part, part C, where we can't use this equation because they're giving us a um, vapor pressure and they want us to get the temperature. So we have to go back to our original equation and now solve it for temperature in terms of vapor pressure. Okay, so I have the equation written here. So we just want to now isolate the temperature and we do that by subtracting A over and then we can do the uh, diagonal cross uh, multiplication and division. And we'll get T plus C is equal to negative B over the log of the vapor pressure minus A and to just get T alone we're gonna subtract the C over. Okay? So now we've solved for our temperature in terms of vapor pressure and they're giving us vapor pressure of 66.0 millimeters of mercury and we just want to find the temperature that correlates to that and it looks to me like we have all our values. We have our vapor pressure and our constants A, B, and C. And once we substitute those values, we'll get that 
the temperature is 26.9 degrees Celsius for part C. Okay, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and if you thought this was helpful, uh, check out the other videos.